Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. Welcome by this uh, another Kerker Lab. This is a Kerker Lab update for me. It's uh, about the Venda Densoniana. But before uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my uh, my uh, Venda Den Densoniana, I would like to mention you the other participants for this uh, Kerker Lab. And at first we have plants and other things, Arcadia, Ninja Arcades, and of course myself. So I really suggest you check them all out so you can have a better, uh, yeah, I think a guideline for what kind of care you might uh, want to give to this Venda and including the climates. I'm a grower from the Netherlands, fairly cold and most of the time fairly wet. And yeah, we have some better days during the summer, so then my Vendas will uh, enjoy it a little bit better. But in the winter it's a bit trickier. So, but uh, let's start with the Venda in uh, question. I'm, I'm going to zoom in on my uh, Venda Densoniana. <laughs> I wish it was so big as my yellow one here. This one, it's, it's huge, of kind of huge, very big. But no, no, it's the smallest of them all. And here she is. Let me show you the text so you really know that I am talking about this one. Or it should be mislabeled. That that's, If it's uh, not uh, correct, of course. I have no idea. And, um, well, it will take some years before we uh, finally uh, find out if it uh, really is a Densoniana. But, um, yeah, last uh, time, the first uh, Kerk Lab, I had them um, potted in uh, terracotta pots with lava rock and some pumice but they didn't do well so I did uh, turn, um, turn them into my old system which basically is, uh, basically is um, having them on a stick on the side and the roots inside a um, glass face so let me see this is about the level so you can see the van itself is sticking out of the face and the roots are inside the face so that's the first um, and um, I water this uh, once every week for at least 24 hours up to uh, 30 and then I will um, fill up the, the face completely and I have a little clip you see, you see now with the temperatures and that is 18 degrees uh, preferably at night and during the day I hope always it gets a little bit warmer but it depends so that's the temperature there and uh, like I said once a week I water it for uh, at least 24 hours up to 30 uh, until uh, yeah I completely fill it up so the roots are uh, as much underneath or in the water as, as possible but I will not put in the uh, start of the fender that may cause you some um, rot and then I uh, will uh, get the water out of the face and in between depending on the water if it's very warm I will spray them daily on a daily basis and like now in winter I only spray them once a week so just a spray bottle and wetten the roots a little bit and that's it but you can see this one has some room it doesn't touch the bottom of the face yet so I might in summer for this one especially put some water in the bottom there so to get uh, to keep the humidity around the roots because that's going to be my next problem if I don't water it enough or spray it enough it hasn't has much roots so in summer it will uh, lose more water than it will uh, will get probably so therefore I think I'm going to put in some extra water there downside is and that was technically uh, basically uh, why I tried to change it into a terracotta pot because I will have quite some algae and I really hate it and the vendors do not like it as much too much uh, algae on the roots will not, uh, is not a good idea but I couldn't keep up um, with the watering in the terracotta pots especially in winter because then it's quite humid here not as warm and they really didn't like it so I, uh, if I were grow, th grow them in a warmer climate I probably could get away with it but luckily as you can see on the left and on the right it has a new uh, root tip starting so that uh, does look uh, very promising and the other root is here so it's starting to grow again and I must admit in my first uh, care collab I did have two of them that was a, a cakey of a, uh, of a mature plant 
en met surfen en het zo niet aan. But that one didn't make it. It wasn't good to start with. But it was a little bit bigger than this one. This one was is very is still very small. But I think it grew this leaf in my care and it's now starting a second one. So it's not growing very, very quickly. And it's just a very little seedling, very small plant. But it's growing. So that's the first. We have it in a um, yeah, in a situation where it's uh, it's starting to grow again. So I think it will be fine. And I always had my vendas in uh, these glass vases in the home. And they did really, really well for me in this, this setup. But like I said, I did uh, change it. So I thought I have a greenhouse, I can spray them easily. But yeah, in winter it's not, not that... Um, it doesn't work as well because when you have the leaves wetted and it's too cold, they really, really hate it. They are warm growers, intermediate to warm grower. And in, in like I said, in the Netherlands is not that warm most of the time of the year. <laughs> but my vendors are coming back with the new roots and I also have a first beautiful spike. So this is uh, basically the system. Once every week I fill up the vase, like I said, in between I, uh, depending on if it's summer, I will spray them every day and otherwise I will spray them sometimes once every two or three days and nowadays it's very dull days we had and it's cold so I don't spray them that much, only once a week. So yeah, I do not have not, not much more to talk about this one because it's very small and uh, yeah, I hope it was uh, for interest for you guys, please let me know. And I think, well, I'm pretty sure that at least one of us, Caracol Labbers, today has one in bloom. So definitely check them out. And for now, just want, I just want to say thank you for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. And I really, really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.